Hey guys, I am officially back home. I made it home yesterday, which was Sunday. I made it home by like, it was like almost five o'clock on Mother's Day. Um, yesterday I was pretty much out of it. So today I am recording to give you guys a little update on everything. I feel 80% better than what I did when I was in the hospital. Um, I came home yesterday and I surprised the kids with me coming home. They had all these little goodies for me and homemade cards and balloons and gifts and everything and it was just it was really really heart touching because I did I was gone for six days and I've never been gone for my kids ever for that long and I didn't anticipate on being gone for that long I so what happened was I was getting some gallstone pain Let me close. I started with gallstone pain on Tuesday morning and I went to one hospital and they pretty much left me there for three and a half hours in pain and didn't really see me or do anything they just took my vitals and that was it and left me there so I left, the pain started to get a little bit better, so I left and I came back home and it just got really, really bad within hours. And I started getting like hot sweats or cold sweats, I was just drenching down, I broke out in a fever, I was shivering, um, the pain was just so bad I started throwing up and by then I knew that something was really, really, really wrong. So I had went into the hospital, I went, well I called the ambulance, the ambulance had taken me to another hospital i did not want to go back to the same one i went to another hospital and they had told me it's your gallstones most definitely they did an ultrasound um i stayed there for two days um i couldn't eat nothing um i had to have a complete empty stomach everything then they ran an mri and on top of that they didn't want me eating anything because they didn't want me to end up hurting myself or lodging um, the gallstone and even farther than what it was or cause any more damage and at the point I just I didn't care I wanted to eat as you've seen the last video that Friday is when they went down and they did it's called the EMRC I believe is what it's called don't hold me on that but it's when they take the camera down my throat they go down in oh yeah so before that they did an MRI they found out that I had two lodged um, stones into the gallstone tract or something like that I don't know the bio tract um, anyways it was lodged into it and it wasn't going anywhere and that's what was causing the inflammation and the pain and everything which then caused an infection within my body and that's when I was getting the sweats and the fever and my body was just pretty much shutting down so they had to give me um, antibiotic every they ran it for three to four hours and they gave it to me three times a day they had to keep running it through me constantly through an IV and everything and I have all these like these bruises and stuff all over my arms and it hurts really bad but um, that's what they had to do they just kept um, that in there they had to get the inflammation down before they can even do any type of procedure because it was so bad it was connecting to I guess it was touching the pancreas and it was touching the liver and it was they said if they were to go in it would be all bad and they didn't want to rupture any other organs that they didn't want to so they had to wait and that's why they had me on a waiting hold um, but they end up going down with the um, a camera down into my throat, went down to the bile duct, pulled out two stones, which at the time they only thought it was one, but they found two of them, so they pulled out those two. I want to say it was the very next day. I'm sorry, my memory is just like all over the place. Um, I believe it was the next day. I want to say it was Saturday is when they decided to go in and remove the actual gallbladder. Um, they had taken me in really quickly. It was around 11 o'clock they had taken me, I want to say. And then I came out. I want to say I looked at the clock around 4 o'clock. And yeah, I came out and I was feeling a lot of like gas pain. I was in a lot, a lot of pain, which I'm still in. So but yeah, so they went in and they took that out. I feel a lot better. Um, I really haven't eaten nothing. I've had like crackers. I had mashed potatoes yesterday. I'm just kind of scared to eat anything because I don't want to feel that pain again. It, the pain was just so bad. It was like probably giving a natural birth to like four babies at one time. Yeah, I would rather give birth than have to go through that pain because there's no happy ending to it, let me tell you. But these are the incisions. They made three incisions. They made one up here where they put in a scope or a camera. They did another one right here. I believe there's two here. They actually had a drain pouch coming out of me what you guys seen in the um, couple of the other videos and then right here in the stomach part right here in my belly button which is really really tight and this one too it's just really hurts um, that's where they actually pulled out the gall bladder <sighs> really hurts to say um, 
So yeah, that's just a little update on what's going on. I do feel 100%, well not 100%, like 80% better. I am at home. Um, I'm waiting to get my groceries. I sent off for Instacart groceries because I'm not going anywhere nor driving. So my kids have been on distance learning this past week. It has been a really rough six days. Let me tell you, juggling was really, really stressful. I just want to thank the people that did come out and help me with my kids. And you know, I'm just, I'm very, very thankful for that. So hopefully we can get back to these regular vlogs for you guys but i did want to upload this video and let you guys know that what was going on and everything so again thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for all the prayers all the messages i have been received over the last um six days i really do appreciate it it meant the world to me people were just checking in on me and um, a lot of my friends and stuff were just uh, randomly messaging me and it made me feel really really good inside to know that I did have a support team and people were offering to bring my kids food and check on them and everything um, they did have somebody here my brother was here my mom was here for one day um, and then my friend Ellie would watch them for the first four days because we had no idea what was going on so um, but yeah it's, it's it, it was chaos it was complete chaos you guys so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And I love you guys so much. And we will see you on our next videos. And hopefully they're like normal videos to you guys. So anyways, thank you guys. Bye.